So when you homeless. So when you homeless. So when you homeless. And hungry and tired and walking the streets and you ain't got nowhere to go. Basically, all I do is stay on my phone. Why? Why are you homeless when, in my opinion, you're not a bad looking woman? If you were a traditional woman with a husband, I don't think you would be homeless. But see, this is when dissentering men becomes a problem. I will shave my head fully for three grand just to get an apartment, just to get an apartment, just to get an apartment. It's sad to see women who choose to be independent of men and become homeless. But this is what feminism push. I can't believe that I'm 28 years old and I have nothing to show for it. And I have nothing to show for it. Once again, women are told in their 20s have hot girl summers. Don't worry about your body count. But then later in life, they start to have regrets. Nothing. What the fuck have I done? My entire life. What have I done? Because I have fucking nothing, you guys. I have nothing. I have never had my own place to live. I've never had a fucking car or a career or a relationship. Nothing. If it wasn't for the kindness of my family and friends, I'd be on the fucking street. Do you know that? I'd be on the fucking street. What this sound like to me in her 20s, she chased the chats and the Tyrones and they didn't want to have a serious relationship. And she just decided to have fun with them. But now she regrets that she did that. I have tried to plant my feet somewhere and make something last. I have tried to find somewhere where I could settle down and build a fucking foundation for my life. I have tried over the past 10 years and nothing ever fucking worked. I'm sure she had orbiters around her, but as she gets closer to 30, she's starting to see that she's not married and no kids, no prospects, and she's getting scared. This is the results of a hot girl summer in your 20s and high body counts. This is the result for some women. It is so fucking pathetic. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck have I done? How is it that I'm 28 years old? I have fucking nothing. It's like fucking embarrassing, dude. I have a granddaughter and I will try my hardest to show her how to vet men and to choose a husband over careers and hot girl summers and high body counts because I don't want her to go through what this girl is going through right here. Like I look around me, everybody fucking else has a place to live, has a family and friends and a fucking career and some sense of stability in their lives. I have nothing. And I have tried and I have tried and fucking tried. Have I not fucking tried? Like seriously. And for what? For what? To be at the fucking mercy of this world with nothing to show for it, with nothing at the end of the day. I can't believe my fucking life, you guys. I, <laughs> I can't believe it. And then she tries to blame the patriarch, but it's really feminism who tells women that they shouldn't be slut shamed. So you're not slut shamed. And now you walk around wondering what you did in your 20s because your life is not how you want your life to be. Don't blame the patriarch. Blame feminism. Does anyone else feel like they're absolutely fucking drowning financially? As a single 29-year-old woman, I just... I have three jobs. And I'm still fucking struggling. And I'm just getting myself farther and farther into credit card debt because I don't have enough after the first of the month to avoid using it. I believe... If you were a traditional woman with a husband, you wouldn't have these problems. It just isn't working. Full-time job. Not doing it. Got a second job. It's, it's barely doing it. The third job. Hit or miss. If I even get paid on time. I feel like I'm drowning. And I don't know, I don't know what to do.
This is the results of feminism telling women to be strong and independent of men. Women step out into the battlefield and see that it's not all roses. It's not all easy. See, men are made to be the providers and women are made to be the nurturers. So when a woman steps in a man's shoes and see how difficult it is, then she starts to have despair. It's like, okay, do I just find a boyfriend so I can split everything with him? Like, sorry, like, I just, I'm too stubborn and I just want what I want. And I don't, I just can't do that. Or no, you don't want to do that because feminism sold you a lie that it's better to be a strong, independent woman and that being a housewife is slavery. And then we have these research studies like the Pew Research Studies that tell women that they'll be more happy being single. I think most of us in the manosphere are sitting back looking at this feminism scientific experiment and seeing it self-destruct and we're sitting back laughing because we knew that it would come to these terms. At some point, women will have to see that the roles God gave us is the roles that will make you the most happy.